there was an explosion. Like literally some sort of explosion right above me in the plant section. Hey everybody, big surprise for this episode. You'll never guess what we're doing today. We're going big box plant shopping. <laughs> it's no surprise at all. We do so much plant shopping on this channel. We're all crazy plant people here. And if you like good, positive planty vibes, that's what we do a lot of on this channel. And that includes a lot of plant shopping. So I have to go run some errands. I have to go to PetSmart. So I did a little bit of Google mapping and I found PetSmart where I can pass two different Lowe's on the way there and two Lowe's I never get to visit. And in Charlotte, we get a lot of really great plants, seemingly year round, a lot of great tropical indoor plants. Never expect what I find. It's always really, really fun to go do some treasure hunting, planty treasure hunting at uh, big box shops here. So I'm gonna stop by these two Lowe's on my way to PetSmart and I thought I would bring all of you along with me. Thank you so much for tagging along and joining me. It's always such a pleasure to film these episodes and share them with all of my wonderful plant friends on our YouTube community. You guys are the absolute best. And uh, if I pick up some plants, which I usually do, I'll share my haul at the end of the video. So sit back, relax, enjoy some plant shopping and uh, fingers crossed I can find some, some good plants today. And let me know as we go along what plants you would have picked up. Uh, if you're finding any good plants at the big box shops, you know, let me know so I can, uh, you know, keep them in the old the old back of the mind so I can keep an eye out for them. You know, it's always helpful. I always appreciate your guys' feedback. So, all right, enough of that. Let's go do some plant shopping. All right, I'm at my first Lowe's. I think I've been here one other time before. I, I think this might be where I found uh, a chameleon ZZ, but I'm not completely sure, but fingers crossed they have some good plants. Looks like they have a lot of them. Some cute little bird's nest snake plants. I like these because they stay so cute and compact. These are $19.98. Some more cute succulents. Well, it looks like some of these may have been damaged by the cold, but there is um, a little ficus altisma, a little ruby ficus looks like, some dracaena, some cute little money trees in there. Over here they have a lot of hanging baskets, beautiful golden pothos, 1998, and then a smaller one here, I think that's about 14, 15. Oh, they have one of these um, orchid, Cactus, let me make sure. Uh, Cactus monstrosa, such a neat plant. I have one of those, love it. Ooh, Pilea peperomioides. That's a good find for $14 in a hanging basket. That's fun. Beautiful Rex begonia, oh my. Look at this stunner. You don't see this variety that often. Uh, 1998 for this big orchid cactus. All right, that's a maybe. That's definitely a maybe. You just don't see them around that often. And these are usually really expensive, this kind. I wish it had the label on there so I knew the exact name of it. Um, all right, moving on. Some really beautiful peperomias. Look how huge that plant is for, uh, for $19. Wonderful. Oh, some fun rabbit foot fern, one of my favorite ferns. It's so wonderful, so easy care, $19. It can handle a little bit of lower humidity. It can handle a little bit of underwatering. Fabulous plant. Here's another beautiful fern, not as familiar with that one. They do have a crocodile fern up there. The crocodile fern is called crocodile fern because of the crocodile-like leaves. Um, Fetonia, 14. They always have some interesting plants mixed in here. One of my favorite things to do is look through this area. I have a beautiful Dracaena, Croton, Purple Waffle. These are all $4.98. Ooh, 
the shimmery Rex begonia back here. Rex begonia has some of the most beautiful leaves. Some more purple waffle. Fun peace lily over here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost missed it. They have a Hoya hanging out over here. Hoya Lacanosa, $14. Mm, some fun ones over here. Some more of this crocodile fern. Look at that leap. <laughs> Whatever. Um, red Maranta. Hartley Philodendron. So pretty. Skindapsis. Not sure what variety exactly. And uh, Calathea up there. Dracaena. They have one of these really fluffy, fluffy ruffle, I think, um, ferns. Okay, lots of stuff happening here. Some Baltic blues, 1998. Really fabulous plant. You guys know I go on and on about how awesome that plant is. Lots of Baltic blues. Looks like some Calathea, uh, yeah, Calathea mosaica hidden back there, all $20. Some more Calathea, some bird's nest fern varieties, and Aglionema. These are all $20 in the Trending Tropicals. Cute ponytail palm, some ZZs. Little fiddle. Really pretty alocasia here. I've been kind of eyeing this variety that has the pink stems. I really like it. Money trees. Always like to see what kind I can see there. What kind of alocasia is that? It's like a dragon tooth. They do have a pretty Adansonii back here as well. Dracaena, a big, beautiful, I believe this is a Laurentii variety. How much is a snake plant? $16, such a good deal for a huge plant. I've been maybe wanting to add a little bit more snake plants to my collection. Um, fiddle over here, this little fiddle is this fiddle is $19. That's a great deal on that fiddly fig. ZZ's, Aglionema. Lots of pretty Calatheas. Stunning bromeliads. The leaves on these are so pretty. Some more beautiful bromeliads. Some nice size fiddly figs here. Oh, this little bird of paradise is $29. This fiddle is $39, 36 I think. Some more beautiful bird of paradise. These are big. Oh, we have some fun plants over here. Some more lacanosas. These look healthier. I do have this plant. It does wonderfully. Um, you know, can't go wrong with a Hoya. They're really, really great plants and they're beautiful hanging hanging basket plants. Looks like some neon, neon pothos over here. Some more of the orchid cactus. <gasps> oh my gosh, they have anthurium fingers. I've never seen this in a big box shop before. They have a lot of them and they're huge and they're $22. Oh my gosh. Let me pull some of these out. Whoa, I cannot believe that this is here at Lowe's. That is insane. This is such a great plant too. I do have one, um, but I would get another one. Oh my gosh, that's wild. Look at them. There's so many. Oh, and this one has a gray planter. All right, I'm gonna pull them out. Oh my gosh, they have Brantianums. Look. Oh, the last place I saw that had them sold out 100% right away. 
Is this the $12 one? Yes, $12.98 for this beautiful Brantianum. Mine's doing so, so well. I love the planter it comes in. That is a steal. Ooh, looks like there's some um, allocation. It looks like Bambino. All right, but getting back to it. Oh my gosh, they have a Monstera Peru. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Whew, okay, out of breath. Wow, look how huge these are. Here are the three that they have. Um, it's gonna be between one of these because they have the most mature leaves. And these are so great because the more mature the leaves are, the more lobes it gets or more fingers. And look, this one has the most, it looks like. And that one has the gray planter and that one has a terracotta planter. So I kind of like the terracotta planter better. They're both the same uh, material though. They're both terracotta. This one is just the terracotta color. Hmm, maybe the gray though, cause it's more neutral. All right, I have to think about it. But can we take a minute? Look at this Monstera Peru. I love it. They have a lot of clearance plants. Um, you can get some for as low as $1. And then, I mean, they're, if you get $15 and up, they're 50% off. So there's a really good deal on plants. And sometimes you can find a steal. Here's this cute little palm, parlor palm. These lanterns are really nice. 50% off 36. There's some uh, variegated jade in there. It's a big bird's nest for $12. So, you know, it would be $7. Love it. Carnivorous plants, five dollars. Aloe down, aloe down there. Ooh, some really pretty orchids. We just don't get like amazing, amazing. Or I mean, they're beautiful, but they're all pretty much the same everywhere you go around here. Don't get a lot of variety, except for Pike's Nursery. They have. Um, a nice assortment of different types of orchids. This one's really pretty. They're all really beautiful though. Can't go wrong with an orchid, stunning. I'm at my next Lowe's, which is in the Monroe area. And there are so many plants here. It's amazing. I cannot wait to go through and look at all of the all of the options. I think this is a is this manjula. These are the biggest baskets of manjula. Is this manjula? Yeah, manjula. <gasps> wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. How much are they? 19, right? Yeah, 19 for these huge Manjula pothos. That's awesome. Ooh, I just like ran over here. <laughs> I guess we're starting. So this beautiful um, spider plant, this curly spi spider plant is 19 as well. Then a staghorn fern here, 19. I'm just gonna pull down one of these Manjulas. That's so pretty. Look how full it is. Awesome. This neon pothos is beautiful. What do we have like hidden back here? Some more staghorn ferns. Um, yeah, a lot of staghorns kind of tucked in there. Some fun ones in this area as well. Fetonia, 548 for this Maranta. That's a good deal. Five bucks for Maranta and they have a bunch of different ones. Look, green prayer plant. They have different ferns, um, rabbit foot fern. Oh, what else? They are stocked. I just got really lucky. A lot of people say, ask me like, how do I know what days to go? And I don't, I just show up. I think because I go plant shopping so often, you know, you get lucky sometimes, right? 
Look at this. And I, also Charlotte has really great, um, like I said, they have a lot of plants in Charlotte, big box shops. But some days it is better than others and this today is really unreal at this location. What else? These Marantas are really beautiful. It's the first time I think I've seen Marantas at a big box shop for $5 in this section that's oh my goodness look at these rex begonias <laughs> whoa they're so lush that is really pretty how much how much 7.98 whoa they have some peperomias peace lily syngonium so many great plants more marantas, ferns, you know, wow. Some more beautiful plants here. Money trees. Up here, staghorn ferns, calatheas, money trees. There's still so much to cover. We're just now scraping the surface, but there's a really beautiful syngonium. And you know, I'm seeing a lot of batik syngoniums coming on the market. I don't think that's what this one is, um, but it looks similar. And this huge one is $14, $15. Then there's some skindapsis. Oh, they have blue star fern, one of my favorites, $14.98. An orchid, cactus. I've been seeing a lot more of these around. They have a really pretty tradescantia. Um, it has some really gorgeous variegation. Rex begonias up here. Lots of alocasia. <gasps> wow, how much are these? These alocasia are $12.98. They have some nice sized fiddles here. They are 36. And the smaller sized ones here are 19. Big parlor palm. Some super vibrant, like very, very vibrant neon pothos. They're 15. And then this one is um, labeled Syngonium podophyllum. And then this is the Tradescantia I'm seeing. And it's labeled Tradescantia albiflora. How pretty that is. Loads and loads of bird's nest ferns here. Aglionemas. Schifflera. Have some bird of paradise. 29 for the bird of paradise. They have some little um, string bean peperomia. I think this is something similar to that, 1398. Uh, Philodendron Brazil, Syngonium. Some more Hartley philodendron, lots of syngonium varieties here. Another bird's nest fern, a red maranta. Um, these are all like $12. $12. Um, like a neon, neon syngonium. So lovely, really pretty alocasia, $22 down there. You see it? Look at that, that looks like a Hawaiian. A Hawaiian pothos. Some really fun hanging uh, planters here. Look how huge this fern is. Let me show you <laughs> the size of these leaves. It's really, really stunning. Huge skindapsis here, 19. That's a great deal on this massive skindapsis. They have extremely vibrant and large philodendron Prince of Orange. I'm very surprised to see that and they are 22. They have a lot of very, very large size Prince of Orange. I do see some Baltic Blue over there, some Ficus. Ooh, they have the Alocasia Silver Dragon. These are so beautiful, 1998. They do enjoy a good drink, I will say. Austral gem fern, some more. Uh, these are Hawaiian spider plants up here. Global green. 
Ravens, Easy's. Oh, they have uh, Monstera Peru. How exciting. They even have some Raffidophora high ease. I haven't seen these in forever. Mine is climbing up my wall. So healthy, wonderful plant. Some more beautiful Aglionemas. Cute little snake plant there. Oh, this is nice. I like this planter that this um, silver dragon is in. Raven Zizi, Calatheas, Peperomias. Oh, they have one of these really cool lipstick plants. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but I do have one of them and it's really neat. It feels like a Hoya. Really, really lovely plant. This one is 19. Silver Pothos or um, some more skin dapsis there. Some strawberry begonias. <gasps> Ooh, hello, beautiful. I think this is another type of lipstick plant. Twister lipstick plant. Yes. I wonder if I should take you home with me. I don't know what just happened. As you saw, like right at the end there, there was some sort of explosion and I wish I would have kept filming, but I panicked and turned my camera off um, because there was like an explosion that happened above me at Lowe's. That's my husband. Hey, there was an explosion. Like literally some sort of explosion right above me in the plant section. The alarm for the whole building went off and I got out of Dodge. <laughs> I'm kind of an idiot. I ran out into the garden center because like those were the doors closest to me. So I was standing out in the garden center like, what do I do? Do I wait in the garden center or do I? So I went back in and they were shout, all the employees were shouting to get out of the building. And all the employees are standing outside. I wish I would have kept filming. But I turned it off because I was panicked. Isn't that crazy? crazy? I'm glad everything's okay, but goodness, goodness me. And people were going so slow. I ran out of there so fast though. I've seen enough movies to know you don't hang around. I felt like Michael Scott when they have the fire alarm in the office and he's like, every man for themselves. <laughs> All right, so I've had a few minutes. I'm not as hyper. I think I was a little bit freaked out, but I wanted to show the plant that I picked out. So from the first lows, I mean, I think it was pretty, oh, that's bright. So I picked out this beautiful Anthurium fingers. Look how huge it is. It's such an amazing plant. I love this plant and I do have one and it completely like died, but I just kind of kept it going in that I kept watering it because the roots looked healthy and it's made a comeback. So I'm excited to have another one, like a nice full lush one now that I know how to properly take care of it. Look how pretty the leaves are. So the more mature the leaves get, the more lobes they get and the bigger they get. And it's just really wonderful, wonderful plant. It's cool. The guy at the that was checking me out, he goes, that looks like a pot plant. I was, I looked at it, I was like, I guess it does look like it a little bit um, when it's like a big, big leaf like this, because this is one of the more adult forms and one of the larger ones that I've found. And so for the huge plant and for the pot, it was $22, which to me is a steal. They had Brantianums, they had Perus. There was also like the plant that I was looking at when the explosion happened is a curly spider, curly lipstick plant. And I've been wanting one of those. And I, oh well, I'll, maybe I'll go back and get it another day. I'm really into lipstick plants right now. I just got a black pagoda and I really love lipstick plants. They're so awesome, like some of the best plants, but this Anthurium Fingers is fabulous. So I had a wonderful time plant shopping. I got my stuff from PetSmart afterwards. So yeah, all in all a good day. Now, if there were any plants you would have picked out today, definitely let me know in the comments and subscribe if you wanna see more planty videos in your newsfeed. We'd love for you to join our community. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.